Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, I'm playing the Tier 9 Imperial Japanese Navy Destroyer Yugumo. I've been on a kick here lately playing some of my Tier 9 Destroyers, and uh, this is the first time I've played this ship in, if I had to guess, probably close to a year. It's been quite a while, but it is a very, very fun ship to play. Uh, matchmaking? Well, matchmaking is decent. There's no CB. That's always really nice. Uh, in terms of radar, well, there's a little bit in the form of the Alaska, but it's really, this is about as good as it's going to get. There are only uh, one submarine per side, so I've only got a basically one in three chance that I'm going to have to contend with something that can really, really outspot me. Yugumo's detection radius is, uh, is pretty good. If you spec for it, you can get it down to a very respectable well, you can see there on the mini-map, uh, by air, two and a half kilometers, and what is it, five, five and a half by sea. So uh, there aren't too many things that are going to be able to outspot you, other than subs and, uh, of course, aircraft. Now, uh, what can I tell you about the ship? Uh, well, Yugamo is the Tier 9 destroyer if you are running up the line that will end with the Tier 10 Shimakaza. If you are running up the line that ends at Tier 10 with Harugomo, then the, the Tier 9 there, of course, is the Kitakaza. As far as the ship itself, let's see, I'll get the particulars on the ship. You can see that the, the gun range, the way that I've got the ship configured, and uh, the torpedo range, about the same, roughly 12 kilometers. The torpedoes, um, well, they hit really hard. Uh, 12 kilometer torpedoes on the Yugamo, which is uh, is what what we've got here. They hit for a max damage of uh, 23,766. Now, of course, that's mitigated some by torpedo protection, etc. But uh, saying that these torpedoes hit hard is it, you're, you're being 100% accurate if you say that. Now, why am I positioned here when there's a, obviously there's a destroyer in the Charlie Cap? Well, two reasons. One, I don't want to overcommit. You know, I, I, until just a few seconds ago, I didn't know where the Alaska was. If I run into the cap, as so often happens, you'll get you'll get destroyer players that just run to the south side of this island that's here in Charlie, and they basically get stuck there. And they're not really able to be effective. They can't use their guns. They can't get through their use their torpedoes. I find this position to be much better because I can actually get the torpedoes into the game. Now my guess is, because of the radio location indicator, that their destroyer has done exactly what I described, but he's done it on the north side. So he's sitting on the north end of that island, and he's going to find it really difficult to get guns or torpedoes on me in this position. But by being here and contesting the cap and throwing these torpedoes out there, I'm helping stop the rest of that push, the Grossa, Soyuz, and Alaska. Especially once they see the torpedoes, once they know that there's a torpedo destroyer here, they're going to be reticent to push. Now, you can see I've got smoke. You also have a torpedo reload booster available. And None of these guys know whether I'm using that or not. So even if you don't go that route, even if you stick with the smoke. Okay, so that's three torpedoes, and the Grossa is just about dead. Somebody's going to put a couple shells on him and finish him off. So even if you're not using the torpedo reload booster, um, well, they don't know that. So they have to act as though maybe you are. And the Grossa does go down to our jump bar. Now I like the smoke, especially in a, a meta that's kind of heavy on aircraft. I think this Soyuz is just going to continue moving back and forth there, so I'm going to put torpedoes out in anticipation of his reversing and nosing back out and reversing and nosing back out. And maybe I get lucky and I tag him with one. And if anybody pushes up alongside of him, well, maybe the same thing happens to, to them that happened to the De Grossa. Now, I've got to be really careful here because I've got the Richelieu pushing in just a little. 
I don't think he wants to come around that island, so I can just kind of sit here, continue to contest the cap, at least for the time being. And you can see the Soyuz is nosing out just a bit, so I might catch him. We'll see. Also got Alaska that's pushed up a little bit, and Eisenhower that's pushing in. There's the potential for landing a torpedo here. It's going to be close. Looks like I think, I, I think I'm going to miss here, but you never know. Nope, caught him right on the nose. 13,302 damage to the Sovietsky Soyuz and their DD. Well, what's he been able to do? Nothing. Now, our Chung Mu has come to this side. Why? I have no idea. Now, he does catch out there, Fletcher. And he immediately runs. Now, Chung Mu is a decent gunboat in its own right. It's basically a Fletcher with deep water torpedoes. But he just runs. And at this point, you can see all the bad guys in the center. Okay, now's our time. We're going to make our break. We're going to make this push. And I can't really move to get torpedoes on them. They're just going to make that break and get away with it. Because if I throw torpedoes at them, I'd have basically the torpedoes are going to hit the island. Now, what I can do is I can push up here far enough to throw torpedoes behind the island because they're going to have to either stop or go around it on that side or come around it on this side. So I'm going to put torpedoes close to the back side of that island. I'm going to sit here and contest this camp as long as I can. And remember that I have smoke. Now I'm keeping an eye on that Alaska. He's continuing to push closer. So at this point, I decide I'm going to have to bail. There are just too many things here. Now I see this. the, the submarine is, is kind of close. So I'm going to get the heck out of here while the getting is good. And Helena does run to the other side. So I'll just reposition a little bit. You can see our salmon is taking care of the U-190. And Helena finishes him off. Now, where I'm at now, yeah, we, we probably lose the cap. But big picture, we've already got the Alpha cap. We've already got the Bravo cap. And we've basically bottled up the vast majority of their team here. Now, the Richelieu does manage to finish off our Jambar. And this Irian that's just south of me is sending broadside to the Richelieu and also to the Alaska, which is just crazy. I'm guessing that's somebody who uh, probably pretty new to the game. Well, this looks like a neat ship. I'll pony up the 40 or 50 bucks, and that'll buy me wins. And you see he's thrown his torpedoes. Yeah, okay. And my torpedoes are back up. Uh, where do I want to put them? Same as before, I'm going to throw one behind the islands. And I'm going to throw one in the direction that I think the Richelieu is probably going to go. And now it's time for me to reposition. Now, Irian, you know, this guy, he's got nowhere to go. He can't turn. He's got... Oh, I'm the, I'm the entire red team focused on him right now. That was just a really bad play. You know, again, probably a newer player. See if I can land any of these torpedoes. Now, Richelieu, he, uh, he handily got away. Down goes the area, as expected. I do manage to land another on Sovietsky Soyuz. So, we got to get Eisenau, and I got the possibility of a Fletcher out here. I don't want to lose track of that. So, with the Yugamo, a big part of the game is patience. You have to position in ways that will allow you to get torpedo strikes on ships, preferably big, ungainly, hard to maneuver ships. You can see all the torpedoes from the Chengmu. And what he did is he threw his torpedoes at a ship that was nose into him. The goal, at least in my opinion, is to throw torpedoes at ships that are showing you side. Now maybe they turn to you. Maybe they do, especially if they're German ships and they've got long-range hydro and they see the torpedoes coming from, you know, five miles away. But 
otherwise, look for angles like that or that. Now, Ganai's is now starting to turn, so there's no reason for me to throw these torpedoes his way. I think he's going to turn around and go the other direction. He sees Veneto, Key. He knows there's a, a destroyer out here because he just avoided those torpedoes. And there, we've got our own Ganaiza now down here. So I'm going to put torpedoes on the backside of this island in the hope that the Sovietsky Soyuz is thinking, all right, I have to sit here behind the island and limit the number of ships that can shoot at me. Now, the Chengmu, why he's heading back this direction, I have no idea. To my mind, it's time to go the other direction. You know, I've got my torpedoes out from this side. I'm going to reposition, change my angle, because as soon as these torpedoes get there, they're going to say, okay, i got a destroyer on this side, so I'm going to have to angle accordingly. Now, that doesn't look very good for that ship. Not very good at all. Uh, I think I'll land at least two. It's possible I might land three, I guess. Although, no, just two, but that might be enough. Nope, not quite. But it effectively takes the Soyuz out of the game, right? And our Chengmu throws torpedoes at the Gneisen now, which just... I'm just boggling at that. Alright, I'm going to smoke up here and make use of the guns. The turret traverse on this ship is terrible, as you might expect, being a Japanese destroyer that is not Akazuki, Kitakaza, or Arugamo. But it's enough. If you can just sit and smoke and just daka daka to finish off the Soyuz. And that's all I need. I don't have to sit here. I just didn't want to be spotted. As far as they know, that was the Chung Lu that just threw those shots out there and finished him off. They may have no idea that I'm here until I do that. <laughs> and why am I doing that? Because there's really not a whole lot on the red team that can shoot me right now. I do want to reposition. I want to help at Bravo. The bad guys have secured the Charlie Cap. Yeah, there's no point in pulling the trigger here. There's no way I'm going to hit the Fletcher. It's probably got torpedoes coming this way, so I'll just angle up. Still spotted because Gneisen now has got me detected. What is it? Uh, ten and a half kilometer range on the Fletcher torps, so I'm still not out of danger here, but uh, I think I can probably outrun their trajectory. And I want to help our Blishkovitsa. He's been doing a really good job. You can see he's in there in the Bravo cap, helping to hold that cap. Granted, we're only down four ships, and the bad guys are down to five ships. Um, so it does not look good for the for the red team right now. But this is World of Warships, and anything is possible. And there's always the possibility that your team will try to win harder and put themselves in situations where they get flapped. That is not at all uncommon, unfortunately. I'm not sure why the Veneto is heading that way when the entire fight is going to be at Bravo now, but... I'd say that that player's been around for a while. He's got the, uh, the 3.14 Pi high XP camo on that I haven't seen dropped in a while, so I'm guessing that player's been around a while. Anyway, so we got a key and a Ganiza now that are sitting on the 9 and 10 line. just getting They're just getting broadside shots. And I'm detected by the Mr. Gudland. So I've got him lit. I'm going to go ahead and keep him lit. I know that the Fletcher's there, and he's going to probably bring his guns around. But as long as I can keep this guy lit, it opens the door for our Helena to be able to get guns on him, although I don't think our Helena hit him at all. Maybe this volley. And so he's caught in a vice right now. He's got Blishkovitsa on one side, me on the other, and Helena dead ahead. There's nowhere for him to go. And he's going to get sunk. 
And Fletcher, well, I'm sure he's thinking I have to do something. I gotta pull a miracle out of my hat here. But he's not long for this world either. And with that, the red team's fate is sealed. So, again, Yugamo, and really the entire uh, stealthy tort based uh, Imperial Japanese Navy destroyer line. Patience. You're looking for angles. You're looking for places to put torpedoes so that it makes sense that the red team ships might be going to, places they might be trying to hide. You have to look at their, the angle of their ship to, to ships on your team. Where does it make sense for them to position? You can put torpedoes in those in those spots in the hope that they'll head there or sit there. And very often, you will land torpedoes and do damage. Even if you don't sink them, you can do significant damage with these torpedoes, and that can help your teammates to finish them off. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to read them. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.